Imagine a world without computers where humanity's knowledge is no longer at your fingertips. A world where tools that you see every day just no longer exist. A world you would not be watching this documentary right here, right now. Computers have penetrated nearly every facet of our lives and computers evolved with generation after generation, first generation computers. The early 20th century saw analog computers develop further. They used to solve the complex mathematical problems. The differential analyzer is the most famous example of this. was built in MTI by the Vanier Bush in 1920. In the first generation, electronic computers, vacuum tubes were used. The most famous vacuum tube computer was ENIAC, invented by John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert. It was the first fully electronic computer. Despite fully electronic computers, they had their own drawbacks. They continue enormous quantities of power, generate a lot of heat, and indeed large amount of at Bell Labs discovered the semiconductor that could be used to more effectively amplify electric signals. This led to the creations of transistors. Transistors were much smaller than the vacuum tubes used, less power and more reliable. Third generation computers 1965 to 1975 was a period of third generation computers. Interrogated circuits were introduced during the development of third generation computers. Interrogated circuits or IC as small as transistors, but it can work as faster as thousands of in them. Interrogated circuits made computers faster, cheaper and smaller than the second generation. They used less electricity and made fewer mistakes. The fourth generation computers. The computers developed since 1975 up to the present are called fourth generation computers. This gen- generation computer uses microprocessors. Microprocessor consists of thousand circuits in a small chip. Intel was the company who produced microprocessors. In 1980, market leader or computer was IBM. They launched their first personal computer based on Intel processor. The main problem with the early computer was that they all used different hardware and programs written on one machine would not work with others. In 1976, Gary Kilidal created an intermediary between us machine software and the hardware. This became the first operating system. IBM was eager to implement this into their PCs but children refused to sell to them. They turned to a young programmer named Bill Gates at a company named Microsoft. After convincing IBM, Microsoft owned the right to its operating system. Gates developed MS Dots, which Windows became dominant operating system for home PCs. Day. Now computers are appear in watches, cars, aeroplane, etc. In fifth generation, computers will use quantum and nanotechnology. Quantum computers can signal important change as humanity can tackle that today's machines cannot solve. A move away from silicon may ignite the pace of transistors development. Computers will be crucial for us in the reach out into space and exploring stars. Artificial intelligence or AI is the core of the fifth generation of computers. Scientists are trying to develop a way that they can think on their own.